Let's review the order of operations. If you recall, the order of operations involves the word bed mass. So we're going to use this abbreviation to help us out. I'm going to be moving relatively quickly, so feel free to rewind the video as many times as you need to. The first step we have to do in this question is multiplication. And I know you're thinking division comes first, but it's a tie between division and multiplication. Whichever one comes first in the equation is what we do first. So since multiplying occurs first, you're going to underline it. You're going to show your work outside. And then you're going to multiply these. You're going to get 3 over 12. Always reduce your answer. And then write it down exactly below the line that you made. The next step is to bring down everything else. And then move on to step two. Bed mass says you got to do division and multiplication. So we have the multiplication done. We have division coming up next. So we're going to divide these two here. We'll show our work on the side. Remember, you're going to change the sign and then flip the other number. And that's going to give you three out of eight. You're going to write it down here. And then you're going to bring everything else down. Don't forget that step. So what I have essentially here is I have one, two, three, four terms. I've got three in the next row. I've got two in the next row, and it always should decrease like that, one term at a time. We have one more step to go. We have to do one half plus three over eight. And if you remember adding fractions, you have to find common denominators. If I multiply this one here by four, it's going to make an eight on the bottom. Now the eights match. I'm going to times the top by four as well. I'm going to get four over eight. That's one half plus three over eight. That's going to make seven over eight. And guess what? It's the only step I had left. That's my final answer. Notice now I have one term. It's organized. It's in my triangle. And I show the work outside of the triangle. Make that a habit. You don't have to draw the triangles, but do get the concept in your mind that everything under the equation needs to be organized and nice and trim like you see here. Now we have bed mass again. We have a bunch of we have a bunch of um, operations in this equation, and the first step is always brackets. So we will solve this on the side. We will go one half plus one third. Common denominators, right? We don't. Some of you are like, oh, one half and one third. That's going to be two plus over five. It's not that simple. You have to find common denominators, and the number six is common between these two. So we can make six here. We can make six there. And whatever you do to the bottom, you have to multiply by the top. You have to multiply the top by the same thing. So you get 2 over 6. You're going to get 3 over 6. And now that the denominators match, you just add the numerators. Just add it up. You get 5 over 6. You're going to write 5 over 6. And then what's the next step? Right. Bring everything else down. Now, what does bed mass say? It's, it's, what does it say? It says... That we have division and multiplying next. Whichever comes first is what you do first. So we have, oh look, multiplying is first. So we'll underline it. We'll solve it. Now look, solving this is pretty simple. You go 5 times 3 is 15. And 6 times 4 is 24. But always reduce your answer. Don't make it difficult for yourself. Make it simple. You can divide these by 3. And if you do that, you're going to get 5 over 8. We'll write 5 over 8, then bring everything else down. So far, it looks good. We have 1, 2, 3, 4. Four terms. Then we have three terms. And then we have two. Look at that. It's working out. And we have one step left. I'm going to show my work on the side. Change the sign to times, and then flip the second fraction. You're going to get 3 over 2. And that's going to make 15 over 16, which is my answer. Now, if you didn't reduce, if you just kept 15 over 24, you're going to get big numbers to multiply and divide by. And who wants that? Not me. Bed mass. We got that again going here. Brackets first. So we're going to solve this on the side. We're going to go three-fourths. Change this to times. Flip this around. That makes 9 over 8. Don't convert it to a mixed fraction yet. Do that at the very last step. 
and then bring everything else down. Don't change the order. Some, some of you might want to change the order. You think that that's a good idea. You mess up the whole equation. Keep the numbers in the correct order. Now we have a new equation here. We have adding versus multiplying. Hey, what comes first? Right, multiplying. So we're going to do that on the side. One third multiplied by 9 over 8. That's not very hard. That's going to make 9 over 24. But reduce it. Make life simple. You can divide by 3. That's going to make 3 over 8. And you're going to write this down. Let's underline it. We'll write 3 over 8 plus 1 half. Now look at this. We have four numbers here. We got three here. We got two here, baby. We're, we're rolling. We got one more step here. We have a half plus three eighths. So we're adding fractions. Remember, common denominators. Right. We're going to have to find that. What's common between two and eight? Right. Eight. So multiply by four. And that's going to make four over eight plus three over eight. I hope you're writing this down. This is the best way to review for this. And that's going to make 7 over 8. Not 7 over 16. 7 over 8. And that's going to be my final answer. How about this one here? We got brackets again. Let's do that first. We're going to go 3 fourths. Change the division to times. And flip the second one. Some of you might forget to flip it. If you don't flip it, you'll get the wrong answer. Every time. So we have that. You're going to get 9 over 8. Keep it. Isn't this the same question? Let's skip this. I think it's the same question. Let's move on to this one. 2 over 3 multiplied by 2. Take away or subtract 1 half divided by... Okay, what comes first in bed mass? Let's look at it again. B-E-D-M-A-S. Division and multiplying. There's no brackets, so we'll skip that. What comes first? Multiplying. So we're going to multiply these two by going 2 over 3 times 2 over 1. Make it a fraction. Don't leave it as 2, right? 2 over 1. Then you're going to get 4 over 3. Leave it as an improper fraction. And then you're going to bring everything else down, right? And let's convert that to an improper fraction as well to make it easier on ourselves. And now what we have is division versus what? Versus subtraction. And what, what wins? Division. Because it's ahead. It's subtraction and adding are at the end. So we're going to divide these two. We're going to go one half. This becomes times. This flips. And now we get three over eight. And then we're going to write three over eight. Let's underline it first. And bring everything else down. Now we have one last step to go. We have four over three. Minus 3 over 8. Now, what's common between 3 and 8? Let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24. And so does 8. 8 can make 24. Try it. Count by 8s. Three times, baby. We got three eights, And we're going to need 8 threes. That's going to make 32 over 24. Subtracted by what? 9 over 24. Exactly. And 32 minus 9 is 23 over 24 and that's your answer see this stuff ain't that bad it's pretty straightforward once you get the hang of this let's do this question the brackets are in a different spot the numbers are the same it changes the whole equation because we have to do brackets first so what is two minus a half i hope you did this i hope you put it over one now you can see denominators we have a one here and a two there so that's pretty simple right we're just going to times this here by 2 times that by 2, that's going to make 4 over 2 minus, yeah, don't change the 1 half, let's leave it a 2 on the bottom, then they match. And that's going to make 3 over 2. We'll write 3 over 2, bring everything else down. Hey, where's the brackets now? We're done with them, we solved the brackets. And then let's convert this, we're going to make that 4 over 3, we'll make this times 2 over 3. Now it's between times and division. Remember, they're the same strength, but whatever comes first is what you do first. This time it's times again. So we can go 2 times 3. That's 6. 3 times 2 is 6. And 6 over 6 reduced is just 1 over 1. So we have 1 over 1 divided by 4 over 3. Bring everything else down, baby. Just bring it down. 
And then we're going to get this. We're going to go 1 over 1, change this to times, and flip the second fraction. That makes, that's 3 over 4. How about this one here? Interesting question, because look what's inside the brackets. We have things going on in the brackets. We're going to underline the brackets first, but what do you do first in the brackets? We have subtraction versus division. Division wins. So you're going to go one half, divide becomes times, and this flips. Now look, this becomes, this is four over three, isn't it? Right? Flip it, it becomes three over four. And then you're going to get three over eight, and we're going to get, the brackets will stay because we're not done with them yet. There's still numbers inside. Don't rush it. Slow it down. You're going to get 2 minus 3 over 8. And then bring everything else down. Let's count. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4 numbers. Here we have 3 numbers. Very good. We're on the right track. We still have brackets to do. So let's solve 2 over 1 subtracted by 3 over 8. What do you do here? Yes, common denominators, times by 8. Don't touch the 8 here, because if you times the 1 by 8, you're going to get 8. And then they match. So we're going to get 16 over 8, subtracted by what? Equals what? 13 over 8. Now the brackets are gone. Why are they gone? Because we're done. We finished everything in the brackets. Now there's no more numbers left. We solved it all. And now we're going to turn this, bring it down, Let's multiply these. That's going to be 26 over 24. Aha, improper fraction. Reduce it. You're going to get, let's see, we can break them both in half. That's 13 over 12. And that, my friends, is one whole and one twelfth. Here we have another one. More numbers inside the brackets. Now it's times versus subtraction, and times will win. So we have to do this part first. Let's do it on the side. And if you multiply, make sure it's over 1. You're going to get 4 over 3. 4 on top of 3. Bring this subtraction down. Bring the 1 half down. Keep everything in the same order. And put divide. And let's turn this to an, an improper version. We're going to get 4 over 3. Just to make life simple. You know how it is. Then we're going to get four-thirds minus a half. And what's that? Common denominators, right. So we're going to go minus one-half. That's going to be times two. That's going to be times three. So we're going to times that by three and times that by two. Now look what happens. Eight over six minus three over six. That's when you're like, yes, we got sixes on the bottom. And then we're going to get five over six. So we have 5 over 6 divided by, brackets are gone, right? Because we solved all the numbers inside. There's no more numbers left. We're going to go divided by 4 thirds. Now we can solve this. 5 over 6, change this to times, flip this. We're almost there. We got 15 over 24. Are we going to write 15 over 24? Nuh uh. We're going to reduce it first. So we're going to divide by 3, divide by 3. And that's going to make what? Five over eight. <laughs>